if I could be honest for a moment, I think that uh, I would consider myself impatient. Uh, I, Isaac Sarwanga, am an impatient individual. Sometimes for me, I put forth goals and aspirations and ideals that I want to chase for. And for whatever reason, we always think that things need to happen immediately. We think that the result that we are trying to attain or, or uh, the mission that we are trying to complete needs to happen immediately and effectively. And if it doesn't happen the way in which we want it to happen or it doesn't happen in a timely manner, then it was a failure. And over time, I've realized that for every level of life, for every situation that we're a part of, for every environment that we place ourselves in, oftentimes there's a deeper meaning than the surface thing that we see. Like sometimes you're put in situations, rooms and environments where you are supposed to influence the room. And other times you're put in situations, circumstances and environments where the room is supposed to influence you. And oftentimes on our journey, if we don't understand what room we're in and what we're supposed to do in that room, we can try to expedite our process. We could try to expedite our growth. And I guess one lesson that I've learned along my own journey that I wanted to share was that wherever you are right now, be there. Like really be there. Be present in that moment. Figure out what advantage you have by being present where you are. There are people that are there that need to hear from you and that you need to hear from. There are lessons that are probably right behind you and right in front of you, but if we're always looking beyond where we are, we'll never get the full fruit of where we are today. The pandemic did that for me. It slowed time down. It made sure that wherever you were, you had to be in the present moment. Looked at relationships differently. The way in which we connect with our family and our loved ones. Our concept of time. And how valuable it is to not only be present, but be present in mind as well. And I guess one thing that I reflect on oftentimes is, man, there's some power in being fully present where we are. Man, there's some power in not trying to rush the process, but being okay with understanding that there is a lesson to be learned. And if we do that over time, new doors open themselves. Next levels happen when they're supposed to. I hope this connects for someone who's an ambitious young professional just like myself. And sometimes the lessons that we are supposed to learn, they will not disappear until we learn them. And they'll give us the opportunity to grow the way in which we're supposed to grow. We don't always have to rush the process. Sometimes it's all about being present in the moment and understanding that the adversity that you're going through, the room that you're in, the people that you're connecting with, the way in which you connect with them, all of that is on purpose and for for you, for your growth, so that you can continue on your journey in the right way. Man, sometimes we want to rush the journey, but at the end of the day, sometimes it's actually telling us to be where you are. And for the mind, inspire the heart.